Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. We are going into week number two in the grocery budget challenge. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link the first intro video down below, and I will also link the playlist with all the videos from it, as well as videos of other mamas who have decided to join up in the challenge as well. So let's get started. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my grocery haul for this week, what our meal plan is for this week, and then at the very end of the video, I'm going to share my total amount so far that I have spent in this challenge. For our family of eight, the challenge this year is to, for all of our food and also household toiletry items, not to go over $600. Now that might seem really easy, um, especially if you watch the video where I am doing like a pantry freezer tour. However, one of the things I want to continue to reiterate is that I don't want to use up everything that we have in storage. So, um, yeah. So I just want to reiterate that because this is not a challenge like a pantry challenge. It is just a grocery budget challenge for the month. I don't want to deplete any back stock I have or anything like that. So let's get started with the meal plan and then I'll show you my grocery haul. All right, so when I am filming this, we have actually already started on this week. So some of the stuff is already checked off. Um, I do not have everything filled in for breakfast or lunches. By the way, I had someone ask me what planner this is I'm using. My friend Wendy over at Plan Prep Pray actually designed this awesome planner. I absolutely love it and it works very well for my needs. Um, I can plan my whole life in this, including homeschool. <laughs> so anyway, so I have some breakfast. Some of these will be repeated. I also have some lunches. Again, that some of those will be repeated as well as leftovers. And then also my dinners for our family. And as I make a list of what we're going to eat for the week, I put in any ingredients we're gonna need into our shopping list. So that way it keeps me accountable not to go over in our grocery budget. Now, this is not anything new to me. This is how I plan all the time. I um, This is just how my brain works and um, it is the best way to make sure that we have what we need and we're not running to the store constantly. So I will just kind of go through here and read off what I have planned. So sausage balls, toast, eggs, fruit, turkey, bacon, eggs, and fruit, muffins, oatmeal, okay? And like I said, some of those will be repeated. For lunches, ham and turkey sandwich, quesadillas, tuna salad and crackers, and then of course any leftovers we might have and things like that. Um, and then we have um, dinners, which I have chicken stir fry and noodles, roast with Brussels sprouts, um, chicken tacos, Leftovers not, and this is in no particular order by the way, Greek baked chicken with potatoes and salad, chicken Alfredo, and then another leftovers not. So as I said, we are already into this week um, when I am filming this because I forgot to film this part. Um, <laughs> and so that is our meals for the week. And then here is my shopping list. Obviously I didn't have to put very much meat on there because we do have some chicken in the freezer, but I will have to start buying chicken next week. Um, and we also have beef in the freezer because we did purchase half of a cow. So um, that is our meal plan for the week. And now I will share my grocery haul. All right, guys, so this is week two of our grocery budget challenge. This is my haul. It was $133 and some change. I don't remember the change. Um, I will do a total um, where we are on the challenge so far here at the end. I'm going to go through this kind of quick because it's lunchtime and my kids are really hungry. <laughs> so um, let's start here. I will also share my meal plan for this week as well. So I got some zucchini, some cucumbers, a bunch of, uh, a lot of broccoli, <laughs> um, a couple of mangoes. This was a substitution. They did this last week as well. Um, I guess they are out of the organic ones, like the big pack. So they just subbed it with these two. I went ahead and took them though. 
Um, and then also a big thing of blueberries. And last week I asked for a big box of the spring mix and they subbed it with three of this size. So we actually still have one left of the spring mix. And so I just got some baby spinach because I need that for a recipe as well. And we'll use it for salads too. Um, then I got a bunch of bananas. This was a treat for the kids. I got them some of these yogurt tubes. And then this, I was super excited about. They had um, these on sale for $1.99 with like a an e-coupon or whatever. So I got four dozen of those. Then I needed some Parmesan for one of our recipes. I also got a block of Monterey Jack cheese and some sliced provolone. Um, this is another treat for the kids. They really like cereal, but I don't like it so much just because they're always hungry after they eat cereal. But I did go ahead and get some, um, I guess it's like Honey Nut Cheerios, and these are like Fruit Loops. Then I got this for my kombucha. I got a couple of boxes. They also had a coupon for these on the app at Kroger, and so I got the Cheddar Squares and the Cheddar Bunnies just for snacks or sides with lunch. I got these multi-seed crackers. We love these for um, kids who want that with tuna salad for lunch one day. I got one loaf of um, bread. I have been making our bread, but we are out right now. And for today, I got this for today. Then I also got some tomatoes. These look so good. Then some carrots. And these are for like sides for um, snacks or lunches or whatever. And then this is for some recipes. Then I also got some green beans and some honey ham. And we needed some more hand soap. So I got the honey oatmeal and um, rosemary mint. I'm excited about this one. Um, and then some sausage for a recipe. And we're really good on diapers right now, but there was a $2 off coupon, so it made it like six bucks for this pack of diapers, and I wanna make sure we have enough. So I went ahead and got those for Noah. Then I also got some apples, and we are almost completely out of onions. We use a lot of onions. Then I got some heavy whipping cream for a recipe, some milk, and some almond milk. I didn't realize that was vanilla. Ooh, I think that's my accident there. Anyway, um, so this was another awesome deal. I love these, especially the chia and quinoa. I thought I got two of those, but I guess I accidentally got two of those. Um, so we won't eat all of these. I just got three of them because, again, they had an e-coupon for these that made them $1.99 a bag. And I was like, uh, yes, I love these. So that is our haul for this week. I will give my total for the challenge so far at the very end. Um, I did run to the store um, Sunday just to get food for like the Super Bowl top food. So I will also add that in to my total so far as well. So this is our haul for week two of our grocery budget challenge. All right, so here's the total so far. For week one, we spent $104.05. Week number two, with our store run and also the extra store run and a gallon of milk, it was $167.06 for a total of $271.11. All right, guys, so that is everything. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you haven't checked it out already, I did share a what we had for dinner for week one in the challenge. I will link that down below as well. And I will have another video coming out next week that shows these meals and everything in action. So um, stay tuned for that as well. So make sure that you push that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when there are new videos and I will see you guys on future videos. Thanks so much guys.